Hello! Welcome to this first video on the Tips and Tricks series that's talking about autofill. Maybe you don't know autofill, but it's a wonderful feature of Excel that really saves you tons of time. If you want to follow with me, go on the website jameswh.com slash finance and find the file so that we can do this together. So let's get to Excel here. Right, so you, as you can see, I'm in Excel, right? Excel, uh, I hope you, you're not scared by the interface, but some of you might know that uh, the the options of Excel have a fill handle. And if you see here, I have the white cross. You can maybe see my cursor. I'm turning it around. It becomes a black cross. And if I pick this black cross and I drag it down, it does one, two, three, four, five. This is a great technique in Excel because it not only works with one, two, it works with any interval of numbers. So if I put five and ten, I select both and I drag it down, it will create those intervals. I can also do one and three, and this will create all of the odd numbers. It's interesting, right? Any series will work. Also works with text. You see here, I've got question number one or quarter number one, and as I drag it down, it goes one, two, three, four, five. It's really great. All you have to do is type any text with a number, and if you type any text with a number, it will automatically follow that series. It's really great. It also works with dates. If you see here, I can drag with dates, and I have options, like filling a series, or uh, filling just the format. I also have the option to fill months. What is this fill months? Well, you see here, it changed the month and not the day. So that is also possible. Also filling the years. There's a ton of options. There's in also this interesting fill weekdays. Right right now it won't show anything because it starts on a weekend, but you can try it on, uh, on your own file and you'll see what it does. You can also have your own custom drop-down menu list. You see, look, um, autofill list. You see here, I've got StarCraft, WarCraft, Diablo, Hearthstone. What? What? Does my computer know these video games? How is that possible? Well, no, it doesn't, right? I did this. You know, you could say it's a hack, but it's not. It's just very simple. You go under File. I say it's simple, and then, you know, I'll make you go in the advanced settings of Excel. I don't think that's simple. So as you see here, right, I am here inside of it, and I'm going to go inside of the advanced settings. And inside of the advanced settings, right, I go down here, scroll down, deep, 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 deep in the advanced settings and I find this button called edit custom list you click on it and you'll notice that my list is right here you can add a new list or you can add new options to this like maybe it's not Warcraft it's world of Warcraft and I hit OK and now you'll notice as I leave this interface too I can now fill in this Starcraft and it will do world of Warcraft here so it's how you can change it and that's the autofill options so it works with text it works with numbers, it works with dates, and it also works with your own custom ones that you want to create by going File, Options, Advanced, and Edit Custom List, right? Uh, I hope you liked this first video about autofill. Stay tuned for the next one where we talk about column adjustments.